Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mishnah Midi tutorial, I'll be taking a look at preserving skin tones inside of extreme grades. I got the idea for this watching the cup song, you know, from Anna Kendrick and Pitch Perfect and that stuff. And in the very opening shot, you can see it's a pretty extreme grade, and you can definitely tell that there's some DaVinci Resolve qualification going on on our skin. So without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So I've got this clip of Annie Bainey right here, very chic. And what we're going to do is in this first note, we're just going to do a quick primary grade here to make it just looking like a normal cool shot. That looks pretty good. After that, we will hit Alt S to create a new serial corrector node and Alt L to make another new corrector node and put them both into a layer mixer. And what the layer mixer is gonna let us do is instead of combining grades like what happened in a parallel node, it literally does layer them on top of each other. So we're going to do our main grade in this top node here, which is actually gonna be the bottom in a layer stack if you're thinking about it in like Photoshop. DaVinci resolves backwards. So the one in the top input gets processed first and then the one below that and below that. So it's just like Photoshop, but reversed or After Effects or any of those other layer compositors. So if you need to just stand on your head when doing grades and that'll help out your thought process. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a very, you know, simple, cool grade and hit Shift H so we can see what we're doing. We're gonna make this a look kind of inspired by the cup song from Pitch Perfect in celebration of Pitch Perfect 2 coming out pretty recently. So you can see that there's this extreme gray growing on, but it's pretty obvious that they're, you know, qualifying Anna's skin tones here so she doesn't look like a zombie, which is nice of them because, you know, everyone likes Anna Kendrick. So we've got this going on. We'll make it, you know, a little more there, make it a little bit yellowy in the highlights. We will go to our curves and bring that part down and that part there, part right about there. And that's pretty close. And now in this other note, what we're going to do is go over to our qualifier tab and just select all of her skin tone, just like that. And we will denoise some, and we will clip the blacks and clip the whites just a little bit. And then we will blur it all to heck and then bring it back in a little bit. So now we've got this pretty decent skin qualification here. And what you see whenever I go out of highlight mode is now her skin is looking fine. We'll adjust this a little bit more. We need right about there. So. Annie's skin is looking fantastic, but we still have this crazy grade going on behind her. So we'll go over to our key tab and I'll show you. We can fade this down. You know, her skin looks a little more zombie-y as we go down to zero. You can bring back just a little bit of life right in there. So you don't need to go the full way, but I think that looks pretty decent. And it's a very handy thing to do when you're doing crazy grades. You can see in here, we can just do whatever we want. And as long as we are careful with what our qualification looks like, you know, we can make some pretty cool stuff happen. And just for fun, we're gonna finish this off by adding a little bit of a vignette and softening that bad boy up, inverting it, bring our gamma down, add a parallel node, just so we're using both layer and parallel node, so people think that we're doing a really cool job. We will highlight her face some. Ooh, cool bonus tip. You can take the key output from this and put it into the key input of this circle qualifier. And in theory, all right, so right now that is the wrong way around. So what we'll do is go to our key input and reverse it. And now we're just gonna be lightening up her face. But I don't think I wanna do that with this one. So there's that. We will bring the gamma up a smidgen, bring the lift down one, and boop -ba -doom, sharpen it up just a smidge. And we'll track forwards and backwards. And I think that is going to look pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mason Media YouTube channel. And if you want even more content, be sure to check out our social media links for which are down in the description below. Once again, I'm Theo with Mason Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.